Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Taryn Morgan, a.k.a. your favorite flyball head professor. I have the pleasure of being with one of the gentlemen, the founder of North Carolina A&T's eSports program, Mr. Jeremiah Smith. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You know, Tell you us know. quickly about your journey at North Carolina at a and What was your role and where you're at now and where are you going with the future? And just thinking about this event, what do you think eSports is going to be with the next five years? Why is it important for people to be in the space? So uh, I helped start the program uh, a couple of years ago. Since my freshman year, I was looking to really have a home for eSports. Uh, I've been gaming since I was a kid. Started with Community, who helped put, up, put this on. Uh, it, yeah, who helped put this on when I was uh, in my junior year of high school. Uh, and back in 2020, right, literally, like, almost, uh, was it 2020? 2020? Yeah, 2020. Uh, a few months after they actually started, um, because I saw the importance of, you know, building a black community within eSports. And so I've been doing that for a while. Um, and so I wanted to get something like that at my own HBCU a and um, and so I, you know, having built all other programs and helping build other programs like Morehouse and uh, Morgan State and everything, um, I thought, you know, why don't we have that? And apparently we did, but it wasn't really anything going on. Um, so I wanted to make sure I, I took the time to you know, get everything going, uh, you know, met, meeting with the admin, pushing them to actually build something. Um, and we we eventually got a lab. Um, you know, it's it's been it's been a long journey. Um, I actually am also doing some stuff for myself. Uh, I started coming to Black Horizon BLK BLK HRZN. Um, it's an organization that's kind of doing more of the professional side because community does a lot of the education. And I, see real, I love the value of education. Education is huge. Um, and educating us into being able to you know, get into these spaces is important. Um, but for me, I also wanted to get something for us professionally um, because we go to HBCUs because we want to be around our people when we go into, into our academic careers. Why don't we have them for something professionally? Um, so that's kind of why I started Black Horizon. Um, you know, working, you know, doing content creation, competitive play, graphic design, video editing, voice acting, doing the whole nine yards of things, and eventually even going on to produce our own games. I wanted to give people, the, give us the opportunity to really get into that space with people who look like us and being able to talk to black people about doing this long term. Um, because realistically, this will be the next economic drive. Um, because, you know, people are talking about digital twin and doing all those types of things. Digital Twin is really just gamified versions of science. Um, you know, you can build a railgun in real life, and it takes a lot of materials, but you can also go do the same thing online for much cheaper and not have the risk of destroying things at the same time. Um, and so, you know, going out and testing, you know, how do we build this better railgun? Or how do we build a new rocket? How do we do build these different these different energy types? How do we do go about that? Um, and so I think that's really what gaming is going to be long term and into the future is getting a chance to kind of play around with these things and going into the virtual space and just kind of being able to explore. Um, because I want to build something like the Oasis eventually. But that's that's a little bit you know far off. Hey, it's going to happen. You put it out there, it's going to make it happen. So make sure you keep an eye out for Jeremiah, Black Horizon, the great things this young man is doing because he's on a right path.